Frank here coming at you with another video for Armor 3's mission editor I'm gonna, and I'm going to be showing you how to add EPD Brian's random roadside IED script to your mission. Since a lot of people have been having problems with ad, uh, adding it to their mission, I'm just going to try to explain it fast and simple for you guys. So first thing you're going to do is download the mission and open the zip file. You're going to have two files, a PBO and a folder. Open up the folder, you got three files, copy the init, description, and folder. Then go into uh, your My Documents, go into Armor 3 Other Profiles, go into your profile, go into uh, the Missions folder, and then find your mission. Now you should just have at least the mission SQM in there. So we're just going to copy these three files to your, your mission file and X out this zip. Go into this EPD folder now that's in your mission, in your mission folder, and go into the IED settings file. We're going to set EPD IED debug to false. This turns off the debug and little notifications like that. Go to predefined locations parameter, line 28. Select that, all that and delete it. You should just have, your predefined locations should look like this. Just two little brackets with a semicolon, or with a colon next to it. Uh, next we're gonna go all the way down, select all this shit, delete it. And we're also just gonna delete all this too. We're gonna set the name of this to IED underscore MKR1. Uh, number one, and then number another number one, and then comma, quotation marks, bracket. Just make it look like this, basically. We're going to have two markers, actually. Copy and paste that to make it easier. Set that to five. Okay, so basically, to explain what this uh, parameter is, is that <coughs> this here, the left uh, and quotation marked word here, this is the marker name that we're going to be creating. We're gonna create two markers. One marker will be named ID underscore MKR1, the other one will be MK, uh, ID underscore MKR2. This number here on the left is real IEDs that will spawn, whereas the one on the right will be decoy or fake dud IEDs that won't uh, activate or explode. And right here, west represents blue 4, so a blue 4 player will or unit that goes next to an IED will trigger the IED and yeah. So one marker will spawn one real ID, the other one and a one uh, fake one, while the other marker will spawn five real IEDs and one fake one, both of which are triggered by uh, blue four. So now what we're gonna do is go into our actual mission in the editor and create two markers. Make sure they're rectangles, not ellipses, since uh, rec uh, ellipses are buggy. ID MK one. Just put it there, create another one, let's make sure it's a rectangle, 200 by 200 this time, IED underscore MKR2, because that's the names we used in the script, we'll put it there. Also one extra, extra thing you could do is go into the IED init file, scroll all the way down, and right down almost near the bottom you see this uh, side, uh, side chat message, it's kind of unnecessary so I always delete it, X that out. Uh, oh, let's get rid of this uh, comma. In the IED, s <coughs> excuse me, in the IED settings, uh, the SQF. Make sure there is no comma near the last uh, for the last marker. Save and preview. Check the map. The markers should that you created should be invisible now because uh, that you don't want people to know where your IEDs are. So what you're going to do is press, uh, well I'm just going to press escape, go to camera, and let's look around for the IEDs. We found one. IEDs will look like objects like this. You can actually change in the parameters what the IEDs look like. Another IED here, just like a little tree stump. I think you guys get the idea though. So some of them may be duds, others may actually be real IEDs based on the uh, parameters you put in the script. So just to show that they actually explode, let's run up to this one. And it should. Yep. And I'm dead. Alright, so that's how you add the uh, script to your mission. Just one last thing, just, I just want to show how you change what the uh, IEDs look like. These parameters here show you uh, what the IEDs may look like with these uh, class names. 
and also you can change the chances of, of that it may be a, a small IED, a medium IED, or a large IED. So larger ones will probably destroy tanks or disable them, whereas smaller ones won't, but they'll take out tires or destroy uh, lighter vehicles. You could uh, have it so that, you know, an, an engineer has a better chance at disarming uh, the IEDs than others. And also you could change the tool or the class that is required to disarm the IEDs. So by default, it's toolkit, but if you use AGM, you go into the config viewer, go into, I believe it's CFG weapons, and it should be AGM, this something, disarm, defusal kit, here we go. So, class name is AGM underscore defusal kit, pretty simple. So you would just replace the toolkit with that, save your script, and there you go. Instead of using a toolkit now, players with the AGM defusal kit will be able to uh, defuse these IEDs. If, they, if you have your AGM and you're using a toolkit instead, the defusal kit will basically be useless. So, there you go. Anyway, hopefully this video was useful and wasn't too fast. Uh, if you need any more help, let me know. Maybe I'll make another video. Take it easy.